Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing great. So in this video, we are going to go over how to install a switch on the actual buzzer of your dryer. I do have a part one to this. It's just kind of a quick overview, but uh, let's get started. All right, so um, this is gonna be a part two on how to install a switch so your dryer does not um, make that annoying sound at night. Cause for us on how our little lives are, we work earlier and we have to do stuff later. And I'm not trying to be that neighbor who is um, having, being loud super super late right so i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna show you exactly what i did so take these guys off quick little screws so let's take take a peek at this guy Get this out of here so there's only one wire I had to actually modify. This does look confusing, but I will go over it a little bit more in the video. All right, so here's all the supplies that I actually used. This wire is off of the actual dryer. So if you don't wanna use this one, you could just use something that has this same gauge size. It's probably a 16. So just FYI on that. Um, I used two alligator clips, just these guys there, and um, two connectors. These are the female side. So I got one and two. These are the female side. All right. And I have a switch here. So uh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure, but here's the part number if I can get them into focus. Hopefully, it's just something super simple, right? not anything fancy so how this goes on there's a washer on the outside and it has your inside washer hold on to the thing and i'm actually going to show you how to install that in a second and i have this tag here for on and off because it's awesome and then hole here you have to drill so it's a drill i did it from like the outside in and then you just make sure that the cat right there is smooth you know just take something to that and be good so let's hop into the installation all right so in this part i'm going to show you how to install the switch here first so of course make your hole not sure exactly the size on that sorry uh, you're gonna have to figure that out sorry so switch here you gotta make sure you're going from the back to front as in how is it about to look as this is installed so make sure that then uh you're gonna have the switch put it on the back side here should fit snug right and it's got threads here right so you're gonna put the on off plate here there's only one way you can actually install this so i'm gonna try and put that here with the light all right there's one way there boom and we're gonna add a frame awesome we're gonna have on this top nut here and it should just spin on and it doesn't have to be super tight make sure each side is the same because some actually do come with a tapered end so screw that on so for me i don't we we'll want it to go up and down. I want it to go side to side because on my sticker and how it will look on the actual dryer, I just want to hit it side to side because you have to reach and it's easier to know which is on and off. All right, so I'm going to show you that in a bit. So just, just hand tight. All right, so let's go to the install. So for the sticker, I just want to set this guy up where it should lead, as in holes up on the screws, and just put your tag where 
it is about to be. So I have on left, right is off. And if you see here on my switch, it's backwards. So I'm gonna have to switch that. But uh, we're gonna hop into how to actually install this. So I just flip this around so it reads the same as this little tag here. But look, this is how it's supposed to look. It's just gonna come out like that just a bit and your clips should fit on there but we're gonna hop into that right now so let's mount our sticker here we're gonna see where it leads and off and on super simple with that I just took a piece of scotch tape and I just wrote on a piece of paper and just had the scotch tape over it and it works perfect all right, so here's the wiring schematic for the back of the dryer. So it looks crazy, but let me try and help you out. So mainly there was one wire that went from point A to point B and we split that up. So now you have four A, B, C, D. And on the next slide, I'm gonna show you how exactly they intertwine and hook up. So in this picture here, the original wire was only from A to B, from the buzzer box to the actual motor, right? So now we're gonna split that one wire in half and now you just have to put A from the buzzer box to D on the actual switch. And then the other wire you should have would be B that's marked as S on the actual motor to the other tab on the actual switch which is lettered c so i hope that makes sense if you guys have any questions please let me know down below and i can kind of clarify it but again you are only screwing with one wire so of course after you cut that in half you have two wires so i hope that makes sense you know i hope this helps you out to not have that annoying sound but on this next clip here, we are going to hop into, hopefully you have it all set up and I'm gonna show you how it actually works.